Yeah, no, uh, really excited to get James um, where we got him. Uh, I think we went to bed last night hoping that he'd be there at this spot. Uh, you know, kid from right up the road. Uh, and, and then just in terms of things to the position, you can never have enough big dudes that can move and, and fit in the scheme. So uh, just a really good fit, really good value for where we got him. Thank you very much, Glenn. With that, we'll head into our first question. It comes from Nate Ulrich. Hey, Glenn, uh, can you just kind of describe what makes him a good fit? Yeah, Nate, no, good question. You know, a couple of things that stick out are one, he's just extremely athletic. Um, you know, his movements, his twitch, uh, really his feet, just the combination of all those things really blend well with, with our wide zone scheme. Um, and then just the versatility he'll bring. We'll cross train him a little bit, um, obviously working in slowly, but his ability to play multiple positions uh, was just another thing that, that we really liked. I, you just mentioned cross train. So I know that the answer is probably a little bit of a mix, but where do you think you, you guys or your coaches are, are going to kind of start him, uh, you know, in this development? No, he'll start at tackle. Um, he'll start at tackle and, and then cross train inside, but he, he's a tackle um, in terms of the depth chart. Thank you, Nate. We'll go to Tom Withers. Thanks, Rob. Hey, Glenn. Yeah, you just kind of answered kind of where I was going with it. But I know he switched from, from D-line to offensive line. Um, can you tell us a little background on, on why they did that with him? And, and does that give him maybe, a, I don't know, kind of a different edge in terms of the way he plays coming from defense to offense? Yeah, Tom, I'm, not, I'm really not exactly sure why they moved him. But, you know, you definitely see the defensive movement skills um, and how he plays at O-line, I think that gives him an advantage. You know, he's still developing, which is which is also intriguing for us. Um, but just the natural movements and just some of his innate, you know, foot speed and, and agility are, you know, with, giving him the bill is going to be exciting to see how he progresses over the next couple of years. Thank you. Appreciate it, Tom. Next up is Scott Petrick. Hey, Glenn, when you see a guy like that with, only so much experience at that position in college. How much of a projection is that? And how much is it feeling good that he's got a bunch of upside? Yeah, I, I think that's a good question. Uh, yeah. A lot of what we do is projections, right? So, you know, you, you have to take that into account when making these decisions. But really just speaking to his traits um, and even in a limited time that he did play, the, you know, the performance and production, all those things spoke well to, to someone we like you know, that adds to our team. Like I said, when you have one of the best O-line coaches, arguably the best O-line coach in, in the NFL, that only adds to the to the intrigue of trying to find guys like this. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Do we have any, uh, let's go to Jake Trotter. Yeah, hey, Glenn, uh, what are your thoughts on, on some of the other picks you guys have made, uh, particularly on the, the defensive side uh, to, to bolster that unit? No, I, yeah. I, I think we just really set out this offseason to not only improve our team, but really attack this side of the ball. And, you know, guys like Greg and JLK add a ton of athleticism, versatility. I think you'll hear that over and over again. But just the versatility that those guys add to this defense, um, it's really exciting. And then, you know, Anthony, not only his speed, but, but again, his, his ability to line up in multiple spots and uh, give Kevin another weapon to use. You know, we're really excited about those three. Thank you, Jake. Dan Lobby, go ahead. Hey, Glenn. Um, what you, you mentioned Jeremiah, and, and you've talked about versatility. I mean, was that really kind of the point of emphasis this offseason for you guys, was to really find guys that could do a bunch of different things? Yeah, I think just as, as the game evolves and, and has changed a little bit, uh, you know, you need guys who can do a bunch of things, uh, have have a ton of skill sets that translate to both the pass and run game. And yeah, I wouldn't say, you know, we sat down and said we need to be versatile, but I think it's just something that correlates to those types of guys where the more you can do, uh, the more value it adds to the roster, the more value uh, it adds to you know, the coaching staff and their ability to call, call the game a little bit differently. So um, I think they kind of just, naturally go hand in hand and, and work together. Um, and, you know, we're happy that it's working out that way. 
Has, uh, has Joe Woods been the happiest guy in the office this weekend? He was pretty psyched after the first <laughs> pick and then after the second pick. I don't, I don't know if we could keep them together. But, yeah, he's, he's pretty excited. Uh, I think we're all excited about those guys. 